Okay, good morning. Today is day eight. And uh, so the weekend's over. Movie night is a distant memory. And I'm ready to get back on track. Now, what's good about today, uh, it, it, it goes towards my favor, is that today starts the Shakeology three-day cleanse for me, um, which I said I was going to go ahead and do just to see what happens. And um, it's good because you know, after eating the way that I ate on Saturday, it's nice to already have something structured for me to follow um, diet-wise uh, so I don't have to, you know, let that be one of the things that snag me as I get back on track uh, with eating um, what I'm supposed to be eating uh, in the amounts that I'm supposed to be eating. So this is good. Now, so far the morning, um, everything is fine because it started like any other morning, which I got up. And I had my Shakeology for breakfast. Well, actually, backtrack. I got up at 5. I did chest and back. I had a half a serving of the recovery formula. And then as I got the kids ready for school, I had the Shakeology. Now, the only difference today with any other morning that I would have the Shakeology for breakfast is that I did not add the coconut this time around, which is really, really strange for me as far as the taste. You can definitely tell when there's coconut in it versus when there's not coconut in it. It's still a very good shake. Still a very good shake. Um, but I'm, I've been so used to having that little scoop of coconut in there that um, I kind of missed it. But I'm, I'm going to try to follow this three-day plan as close uh, as I possibly can um, outside of maybe, um, like I said, adding a few extra recovery formulas, you know, as I'm working out. So today's workout um, it was supposed to be all running this week, uh, and I'm going to put the resistance stuff in the early morning, uh, along with the classes that I had to do throughout the week. Uh, but of course, Monday morning, it already looks like it's going to rain. I think it's supposed to be raining from now until Wednesday, so I cannot get outside to run. So we're going to switch the run week to a cardio focus week. Uh, after class this morning, I have body works at 945. I will be running on the elliptical for an hour and then uh, getting on a um, spin bike for another hour. And that'll pretty much end my day as far as workouts are concerned because the rest of my afternoon into the evening is actually going to be quite busy. Um, I'm training today, um, um, a client, and um, I'm also going to the uh, Yugo um, Philadelphia, the fitness trainers um, meeting tonight. Um, so that should be really interesting. I'll have to tell you all about that, what happened with that. Uh, but yeah, so that's pretty much what's going to end up happening. Now, with the with the three-day cleanse, like I said, if anything happens to where I don't feel well or malnourished or I'm doing um, too much exercise that the, the uh, cleanse will not sustain, um, because quite honestly, and of course I didn't read into this until this morning, it says that it, it's, it's better or more beneficial if you go ahead and do this cleanse when you're in the recovery phase of your workout. Now, I am going to categorize the cardio focus workout for this week as my recovery um, because I will not be doing any insanity probably um, or any of the extremely difficult ones um, or um, any extra heavy weights except for maybe, to, like I said, today, uh, possibly tomorrow, and possibly on Wednesday I may do legs. So I may do a full gambit of upper body between today and tomorrow and then do legs of some sort um, on Wednesday and then just leave it at that for the rest of the week. So anyway, but the um, Shakeology Cleanse, like I said, it's a really good formula um, uh, a along with the recovery formula by Beachbody. Um, do I think it burns fat? Probably not. Do I think this three phase cleanse is going to help me drop fat? No, I don't. Um, I think it's probably going to take the, the same, um, uh, what do you call it, um, direction as what happened at the beginning of last week with my calorie cutting and the amped up exercising, where I just lost a lot of water. Um, but, you know, it's, it's still good because this, like I said, this structure will help me get back on track with my eating um, so I can, you know, do what's needed for the rest of the week. And it probably will, you know, take off a lot of water weight to where I'll, I'll feel a little bit better and, um, you know, I'm able to continue with this whole regimen. Um, but 
like I said, I don't think it's going to burn fat. I don't think it's a really a fat burn. And I swear that this formula, as good as it is, has a component in it that is basically a diuretic. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. But it's, it's a very good nutrient in the formula. Um, it tastes really good. And it does contribute to your entire um, effort to lose weight uh, because it, it does sustain itself as a, a complete meal. Um, and it's very low in calories. I think it's a 150, 160 calories for one scoop of the powder, I believe. I, I might be wrong. Don't quote me on that. But it's still very low. And it's, um, yeah, it's very filling. So if you substitute that for one of your meals, um, you know, and you do that on a regular basis, uh, if you don't maintain, you probably will in the long run, um, drop some pounds. If you are on top of that, you know, the other meals that you eat, you are still, um, you know, uh, really strict on your portions and the types of foods that you incorporate into your meals. So, you know, that being said, you know, Shakeology does work. Um, in the grand scheme of everything with your, um, your meal plan and your exercise routine. So anyway, so that's, what's going to happen. Um, like I said, class elliptical and bike is the lineup for today. And, um, I'll let you, I'll let you know halfway through the day, how I'm feeling, um, with just drinking Shakeology and green tea. Uh, though I will have one meal in the afternoon. Um, right now I believe that's going to be chicken breast and spinach and something else, some other vegetable, I guess. But, um, that's the way it's going to go today. And, um, I'll check back and let you know whether or not I, you know, feel as though I'm going to hurt somebody because I'm hungry. We're hoping that's not going to be the case. All right. I'll talk to y'all soon.